Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for May the 6th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which you see has all of these tools here uh, to help you make your picks. So the Major League Baseball season is a month in now, and teams are really starting to show their colors as far as if they're going to be uh, good teams or, or not so good teams this season. So it's a pretty full slate of games for Major League Baseball. I think there's 10 or 11 games. We're going to take a look at five of them. So uh, let's get started with some of these games. First one we want to look at is the San Francisco Giants and the Philadelphia Phillies. You see the Phillies are coming in burning hot, winners of five out of their last six. And in fact, they were the first team in baseball this year to reach 20 wins. The Giants are average stats in three and three over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see the teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the line. San Francisco four out of the last six under the line, and Philadelphia four out of the last six are over the line. A score prediction has Philadelphia by a 5-1 to one margin, a comfortable mark with a good level of confidence of 84%. Now, if this score would hold true, this would definitely be a game under the line. On the power ranks indicator, Philadelphia is at plus 23, and the Giants are at plus 16. Head-to-head, -head, the teams have not yet met this season, so last year's games really don't really matter as far as that goes. Um, as far as their home and win records uh, for the season, Philadelphia is 10 and 6 at home, while the Giants are only 6 and 10 on the road. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent are they with regard to their favorite underdog status? You can see that Philadelphia is one of the most consistent teams in the league at plus 10. Although over the last uh, uh, week, week and a half, they have not been as consistent, pretty much maintaining their plus 10 level, and the Giants are pretty much a middle of the road as far as that consistency goes at plus two. In the end, I like the Phillies to win this game. I'm going to take the Phillies and under the line. The next game we want to look at is the Angels and the Pirates. You notice both teams are coming in dead status. The Angels are just 1-5 over their last six, uh, as are the Pirates, 1-5 over their last six. If we take a look at the score prediction, it's for the Angels 5, Pirates 4. The confidence in prediction very high at 88%. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Angels have been involved in games mainly over the line in the last six, while the Pirates mainly games under the line in the last six. On the power ranks indicator, neither team is very high. As you can see right here, the Angels down here at plus three. Actually, they're down at the lower part of the league, and the Pirates just at plus two. Both teams are in last place in their respective divisions. Um, the Angels are better on the road at seven and nine than they are at home, um, which is interesting. But while the Pirates actually struggle at home. So let's take a look at something else here. Volatility wise, yes, you neither team is very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats and very up and down. The trends are very up and down, not steady at all here. Um, in the end here, I like the Angels in a road win and a game over the line. The White Sox and the Rays. The White Sox come in average down, losers of their last three, and they had actually won three in a row prior to that. Um, the White Sox, though, have the worst record in the league with just six wins and 25 losses and are actually on pace for the worst record in baseball history since the team went to 162 games. Um, and the Rays are dead status, and they are just 1-5 and five over their last six. The score prediction actually has the White Sox winning this one 4-3, but the confidence in the prediction is rather low at just 47%. Power ranks, not a surprise here. Well, a little bit of a surprise, actually. If you look at um, Chicago at plus eight, that's because of the recent uh good streak and uh tampa bay is just at plus one take a look at head-to-head -head matchups this season this is where the surprise might come if you look here the white Sox actually won all three games three out of their six games of the season that they won came against uh the rays in their last meetings between the two teams and they won those games at home and you know what let's go for it again the White Sox have the raised number right now. Let's go for the White Sox road win, but pass on the over-under bet. San Diego and the Chicago Cubs. We will take a look at this matchup as well. San Diego comes in average up. Winners of two out of their last six. Winning the last two. Well, the Cubs are ice cold down. Losers of four out of their last six games. Again, the over-under is showing that the teams have been training games on opposite sides of the line, which has been the case a lot uh, with these games we've been looking at today. Uh, but Pad Padres have been involved in games over the line in four straight. And the score prediction would show over also. If this score prediction 
of 8-6 to six in favor of San Diego holds up. Confidence in the prediction is at 58%. The power ranks San Diego on the upward trend at plus 15, and the Cub pretty much fell off a cliff over the last, basically just the last day from 18 down to plus 5. The teams have met earlier this season. They played back on April 8th through the 10th in San Diego with the Padres winning uh, two out of the three games. The only one of the games was close, not 9-8. The other two were kind of blowout games. Uh, let's take a look here at the stability factor. Again, neither one of these teams has been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. A couple were at minus, well, let's see, when the game season started, they were at minus one here, and they are at minus one now, and the Padres are at plus two. So take the favorite underdog stats with a grain of salt in this one. Um, I like I like the Padres. I like the Padres to continue their winning ways over the Cubs, and let's go with a game over the line. The Mariners and the Twins. And there's one last game we want to look at here. Which I can find that. Here it is. The Mets and the Cardinals. Uh, the Mets are coming in average status. Winners of three out of their last six. But the Cardinals are average down. Losers of three out of their last four. Also three and three over their last six. Sean Manea is scheduled to pitch for the Mets. He is one and one with a 3.07 ERA. But he's a very good bet. A solid bet at plus $263 on the pitcher profit oscillator. The over-under, the teams have been trending in games under the line. You can see 8 out of the last 12 combined between the two teams have been under the line. The score prediction is for 7-2 in favor of the Mets, so a pretty hefty margin of win if this were to hold up. But the confidence in the prediction, again, is rather low at just 59%. Power ranks indicator more up and downward motion as compared to a lot of the, you know, similar to a lot of the other uh, teams and games we've been looking at today. Um, Cardinals here at plus 10. The Mets came up from plus 7, up to plus uh, 17 just over the last day. Head-to-head, -head, the two teams did meet earlier this season, three games in New York, with the Cardinals winning two out of the three games. If you look at the stability factor, once again, the Mets are very inconsistent. Minus 2 on the pitcher, uh, pitcher <laughs> minus 2 on the team volatility oscillator, and they've been pretty inconsistent all year long. And the Cardinals are a little bit more consistent at plus 3. If we take a look at everything else, um, I mean, both teams are like in the middle of the pack. The Mets are 16 and 15 on the season. The Cardinals are 14 and 17 on the season. So, I mean, not that much difference between the two teams as far as their standings go. I do like the Cardinals continuing their trend and take down the Mets, and I'm going to go with a game under the line. And there's the Rangers and the Athletics, which we're not going to look at, and there's also Miami and the Dodgers. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for May the 6th. Happy betting, and see you again next time.